All right, if I can have everyone's attention, we'll go ahead and get, we'll get started with our uh, post-race press conference here at Kansas Speedway following the Hollywood Casino 400. We're joined by our second place finisher, Kyle Larson, driver of the number 42 target Chevrolet, who is also our top finishing rookie here today at Kansas. Talk a little bit about your run out there today and that awesome second place finish. Yeah, we were good uh, all weekend long. Uh, the first run, you know, we start off pretty loose because we were deep in the pack, but then kind of once it all spread apart, we were able to pass some cars and uh, get up into the top seven, I think, uh, before the first caution. And um, there were some crazy restarts there in the beginning. We almost got collected in a couple of them, I guess. And um, you know, missed those and was able to you know, keep working on our car and got it better and better. And um, you was surprised the groove moved up as high as it did. That was uh, a lot of fun for me. I think it helped me um, you know, go as good as I did because I'm not much of a bottom feeder, so uh, it was a, a good race. I thought me and Joey were, you know, dead even there at the end. So um, it was hard for me to gain gain on, and we would go within a hundredth of each other. It seemed like every lap, and then uh, it was able to close on him there at one point, but just couldn't do anything. The bottom was a lot slower than the top, so I just kind of had to follow him and hope he made a mistake. And he almost made one mistake there, uh, with maybe seven to go, and then he got back into rhythm, but. Uh, Good finish. Uh, we'll get some wins here soon, hopefully before the end of the year. And um, I think once we get one, we should be up here more often as a winner. All right, we'll open it up for questions. We'll start with Scott in the back, then come back up front. Congratulations, bud. So um, talk about there at the end of the race. Seemed like when you get close to him, it might unload the nose a little bit, take the air off of it. You think that that was the disadvantage once you did get close to him? Yeah, once once I'd get within, well, I mean, I stayed within probably six or seven car lengths uh, for 10 to 12 laps. Then I got closer. And once I got closer, um, I got pretty loose. So I was trying to run even closer to the wall to get some of that air on my rear spoiler. But uh, it was just still too loose. I don't think there was anything I really could have done there at the end to to get even closer than I did. Okay, we'll come up here. I think we got a question right here to the right. Yes. Yes, Kyle Dominic, how going with the RacingExperts.com? So with this being the 21st time you finished the top rookie here in the 2014 season, just kind of want to ask what that means for you and your race team. Yeah, it means a lot. Um, that's kind of a goal we set out uh, each week is to be the highest finishing rookie and you know, be in the top 10. And the way we've been running, we want to be in the top five now every week. So um, we've beat Austin quite a bit in that. Uh, we got a pretty sizable point lead in the rookie of the year. So. Um, I hope I can pull it off. I don't see why I wouldn't, but uh, it'd be a good, great award for me. Okay, I think we had one in the back up here, and then we'll come to Jim. Sure. But I had nothing for you guys. We sure. have one in the back too. I can't believe you guys yeah. lapped one just like I went to the wall. I'm like, go ahead, over here, boys. <laughs> uh, David Soap with the New Mexico Motorsports Report. Um, I have a question first for Kyle. Um, how does it feel to uh, which one? Yeah, that makes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my 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 apologies. Are we doing Larson uh, first? Uh, Kyle Bush. Uh, they want to do him first. Okay. Uh, if you have a question for me. A absolutely. Um, uh, great race. Uh, first off, um, looks like you were really uh, able to close uh, in later laps. Um, would you attribute that to? Um, a a good setup, uh, or was that all a part of the game plan? It's just kind of inch away, I'll catch up. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I thought we were pretty even, and um, I was able to gain, you know, a half a tenth a lap there towards the end. And once I got within four car lengths, I couldn't really do much about it. So um, I thought we were evenly matched. Um, he was better than I was on short runs, but then I would get going after three or four laps, and then, like I said, we'd be pretty even. Okay, a question in the back. Is it for Larson? Uh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Sean McDowell, Fox 4 News here in Kansas City. Kyle Larson. Question about tires, and specifically, it seemed like there was, I wouldn't say a plague, but there was a pattern of pop tires, blown tires throughout the race. What were you witnessing? What was your team contending with? And how did you get by without blowing a tire? I guess uh, just a good setup. Um, there, we did two, two right tires only, so we had double stint on our lefts, and they said before that last run, uh, we had a blister on our left front. So it's good that that caution came out because it probably would have bit us soon. So um, 
But there's really nothing, at least I don't think we can do as drivers to take care of our left front tire. So kind of just at the mercy of when it goes and we were lucky enough to not have tire issues. Anything else for Larson? Okay, we'll go to Jim and Stan, then we're gonna let him go. Kyle, uh, you've talked a lot about what you, you and your team may have done if you were in the chase, but when you look at what you're, how you're performing here towards the end of the season and you look back at the start of the year, what do you attribute the biggest difference? Is it simply experience? Is it second time on the track? Or how would you, what, what do you think the gains have been for yourself? Yeah, I think it's just a little bit of you know, experience, second time at the track. And a lot of these tracks in the chase are one of my best tracks. So I think that's why we've been running really well. So um, yeah, I just got to keep it going. I think you know Charlotte's another mile and a half. So we should hopefully be pretty good there. We had couple tire issues there the last race is why we didn't finish very well and um, then Texas uh, Phoenix I even kind of like and Homestead should be a good one Martinsville and Martinsville is probably my worst track on the schedule so don't expect much there but uh, anything happened at Talladega too so um, yeah these if I could just make the chase I'd have a lot of fun because these are some of my favorite tracks Stan it's Stan Creek more with competitionplus.com Kyle if you look back to the very start of the season and what you hoped you could accomplish, are you anywhere close to where you wanted to be or is it still that victory that you need to, to fulfill all your wishes for this year? No, I definitely feel like I've been running a lot better than what I thought I would to start the season, but I thought I would make the chase too. So a little bit disappointing there, but I've been running, finishing better than I thought I would have. So i um, happy about that, but uh, just missed that one goal that we had before the season started. But um, yeah, like I said, just got to keep it going. And you know, I think midpoint through the season, I had noticed I was running better than what our goals were and raised those goals in the top tens. And now the way we've been running, we want to be top five every week. So just got to keep it going.